Good afternoon and welcome back to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Biggie and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is a refined version of a previous video that I've sent you of Biggie demonstrating his new skills. Now he is sitting very nicely next to Rich's left leg and Rich is petting him but he isn't getting overly excited or overly amped. He's not pawing at anybody. He's sitting quietly like he should. On his blanket with Rich there next to him, Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash. He keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, which leaves his left hand free to control his dog. So you're gonna keep an eye on what Rich is doing with his left arm during the course of the video and the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for us is Biggie's ability to heal. Healing is nothing more than proper leash walking and the command is Biggie heal. Now at this point Biggie has a job to do and that is to pay attention to you on walks. If you're walking very slowly he should do the same. If you change direction or speed up your pace he should do the same. But his job is to know where you are at all times and Rich slowed down so he sat, which isn't a bad thing because that's what he's been taught to do. If you stop your feet, he's been taught to sit without being told to wait for his next stay. command. The next command is the sit, stay. It is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Now he broke and started to get up and all Rich did was probably the, the cicadas or crickets are so loud. Well, I hope you can hear me over them. Rich returns back to his shoulders and they take off healing again. So healing should be part of his every day in an airport, in a restaurant, on a crowded street, anywhere that you are, he knows that command to heal. If you change direction, he changes direction. If you speed up, he speeds up. If you slow down, he slows down. If you slow down too much, he sits. And when you stop, there's your automatic sit. Stay. Now, Rich is using a clicker, but he's, the treats that he's using are very occasional because if you're taking him on a flight or you're taking him into a restaurant, this is your come on command. His job is to come and sit facing your knees, not coming and launching himself at you. And believe me, when he first got here, that's how he approached you, by launching himself. And Rich is showing off those healing skills by not walking in a straight line always, and by changing direction, and by changing speed. And this is very important in controlling a big dog in public situations. He has his vest on, he knows he's working, which leaves him again in another sit stay. And you can practice these sit stays indoors as well as outdoors. And let him have a place, let him have a visual that is his place, whether it's a dog bed, a blanket. I prefer something you can fold up and take with you. So like a, a Velcro bath mat, something that can easily be folded up, put into a backpack. And his place always looks the same, whether he's in an airport or whether he's in your bedroom. Stay. This is your down and stay. But you haven't once seen him take his feet off the ground. Stay. Rich returns back to him. He holds that stay until he's released either by praise or by giving a secondary command.
down, left hand toward the ground, one word command to down and stay. And we'll give you the opportunity tomorrow to work with them yourselves if you would like to while you're here. So just so that you feel confident that you can make him do all these things for you. Now Rich did give him a treat that time. But like I said, we're going to supply you with the clickers. He knows those clickers as a reward. Yeah, <laughs> the butterfly is going to land on his head. Now, he didn't go down the first time that time, but that's unusual. He's getting hot. He's getting hot, yeah. It's very, very, very muggy and humid today. And we've had so much rain, it feels like a sauna. Nice recall. Come and sit. So we have demonstrated for you today the fundamentals of service dog training. He's a big enough dog that he can be used for balance. He can be used for a lot of things that Dre can't be used for. If someone asks you what service does he provide, you can easily say balance or whatever because he's big enough to be able to provide those kinds of things for you. We have so enjoyed working with your boys. They're very sweet. They're very smart. We want to thank you again for choosing Nora's and we will see you tomorrow.